Welcome back. We're now going to pick it up inside of the writing screen and inside of the text editor you have all of the same editing features that you would have in any other word processing document. So for example, once we place the cursor inside of here, what you'll see is that you have a toolbar that is enabled to you. So that means that you can take any of these words and you can make them bold. And by clicking the B, you can take the bold off. You can do the same thing for italics and clicking again and turning the italics off, underline and strike through. You can also change the actual color of a particular text by clicking apply and then when you take the highlighter off you'll see it. You can change it back to black. You can actually highlight a background. So for example, we could take this text and we can actually put a yellow background there and you'll see that there is a background. We can take that background right back off and click apply. So you have all of the same text features that you would have inside of any word processing document. You can also bullet point and you can take the bullet point off. Now you'll notice that didn't go back exactly the way you wanted it to so you may have to do some editing. So you want to make sure that you can work with all of the features inside of your word processing to make your document look the way you want. And again, remember that all you'll need to do is to click the preview and test button to take a look at how it's actually going to appear to your client. Now Aweber will allow you some drag and drop features inside of your newsletter. So what you could do is you can use any of the features that you see on the left hand side menu by dragging and dropping. So for example, we can drag and drop a headline in here. And we can write that headline in. and we can take that box right back out. Now one thing that you may be doing is you may be adding an image and you can actually do that by writing in and dragging and dropping the image inside of the editor. And you can take the editor back out. You can drag and drop a video into your box and what you'll notice when you actually set up the settings for this video, we do that by clicking inside of the video, we can actually put a video URL inside of here and we can actually have the thumbnail to appear. So let's do that right now. We can write in the title and then we can even determine the destination URL for the video. We decide we don't want it, we can take it right back out. We can add in a button or a button code. And of course, if we click on top of the button, then we can actually send people based on them clicking that button to the page that we want them to go. And we can take that button right back out. We can add in our social media contact Facebook and Twitter and by clicking on Facebook and or Twitter we can actually customize where we want those links to go. We can add in a product link and this is much the same as a buy button. So we can actually edit the image. We can add an image and then we can have it linked. We can have our button which will send people to a page. So we have total customization over this particular product image. We can add in a coupon. And of course we can actually write in what we want to see inside of that coupon and take it back out. And then we can add in our logo. Again, with all of these images 
we can actually size these down to what we want them to be. We can click inside and adjust them from there. Of course, we can add in our signature. In this case, we would add that here at the bottom. And we can even add in a divider. Lastly, we can add in share buttons. We can do that, put that at the bottom of our email. And this will give people the opportunity to share the content on their social media. Finally, if you do something and you don't like the way it looks, you can always go and do the undo button or use the redo button, which will take you back one step to where you actually started. And then you can have the text where you were. And of course, Aweber is auto saving your information as you go. You can always go back to a previous version at a particular time. But the best way to do that, if you can, is to use the undo and or redo buttons. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.